Why is the opening of this 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 engine manufacturing center in the Midlands in England? Why is it such a seminal moment for the company? It's a historical moment for the company Jaguar Land Rover because now we have an opportunity to deliver our customer the best British engineering. Our customers ask for, on the one hand side, performance, but also efficiency. And best British engineering can now make this contradiction happen. It's a clear commitment to the UK. Why are you so committed to the UK? Does this prove to us that we're witnessing a renaissance of the UK auto industry? Britishness, but also this compelling uh, combination out of British design and creative engineering differentiates Jaguar Land Rover from all competitors all around the world. And therefore, Jaguar Land Rover is really one British company with two fabulous, authentic brands. How much money will you save by making your own engines? Can you give us an idea? How much of an improvement in margins will that provide? At the end of the day, it's not an improvement in, uh, in margins. It's an improvement for the customer, for the environment, for the sustainability. And first of all, it's an investment. It's an investment only in stone and bricks of around about 500 million pounds. Not considered the overall investment in the design of the engineering, in the, engi uh, in the engineering power, in the engineering resource we had to spend to make this happen. And you're investing a lot of money. I mean, you're investing a record three and a half billion in the 12 months through March the 31st to add capacity, to add models. This is a this is as, as a company. What's your spending plan beyond that time frame? Where will you spend the money? What will you spend the money? How much money will you spend beyond that time frame? We are spending overall, over proportionally in research, in engineering but also in development. And we want to continue this kind of track because we are leading in technology and we are a premium uh, company. And our customers expect very special premium products. And can you give us an idea of what those products are going to be as part of your five-year plan to launch new vehicles, to launch new variants? You've already unveiled the lower-priced Jaguar XE, the Discovery Sport SUV recently. We spoke to you, of course, in Paris just a few weeks ago. Give us an idea of some of the newer vehicles you're going to launch next year and the year after. Emphasis is definitely the new uh, Jaguar XE and the new Discovery Sport. Really fascinating models which you can drive even better with the latest technology and they look great also in addition. Therefore, the emphasis is on Jaguar XE and Discovery Sport. Further programs we will introduce whenever we are really ready to talk about it. And does an SUV vehicle fit into your plan. I know my colleague Hans Nichols asked you about that in Paris and you said the Jaguar won't uh, introduce an SUV but you did say it could introduce something that's SUV like. That could be the case. How, how unique would a, a Jaguar SUV look and feel? Uh, I didn't change my mind. Jaguar will not introduce an SUV. But Jaguar, what Jaguar can do, they can do something very, very special, more road oriented in a very you know, similar field. Will you be opening other factories elsewhere, any engine plants elsewhere? What are your plans uh, around the world, uh, Dr. Speth? Now, overall, we are expanding our global footprint. But the engine manufacturing center clearly highlights the commitment of the UK and we are not in a volume race. So we'll do everything step by step by step. And you know that only eight days ago we opened up our first fully fledged operational um, footprint in China. And so one after the other.
quality, quality, quality goes first in order to deliver our customer really this very special experience they like. And does this new factory mean that you're going to stop using engines from Ford? And if so, is there a timeline? Can you tell us when that might happen? Uh, we are committed and we will fulfill and we have a good relationship with Ford. Therefore, we will fulfill all our contractual obligations all the with Ford. The relationship is good, so we continue. There's a good piece in the Financial Times today, Dr. Speth, talking about uh, industrial action. You could be facing your first ever industrial action since Tata took over Jaguar Land Rover in 2008. Uh, workers have rejected a three-year pay deal. Why hasn't pay here in the UK and the auto industry kept up with production? Um. There's a very attractive offer on the table. We have submitted a very uh, attractive offer. Uh, we are really taking care about our employees. We are paying at the highest level anyhow. And so we are absolutely committed. And I guess we ought to think forward that we will uh, have find a commitment in discussing with our partners. Mr. Dr. Speth, thank you very much for joining us today, sir. Uh, good luck with the opening of the Engine Manufacturing Centre in Wolverhampton in the Midlands. And uh, thank you very much for joining us today, the Chief Executive Officer of Jaguar Landry.